Hey guys, Halls of Fame is my favorite plugin reverb. It contains impulse responses from all my favorite hardware reverbs. In this video, we talk about how you download the plugin, how you install it and activate it, and then, of course, how you are using it in your session. Hello, and thank you so much for purchasing Mix Temple Pro from Mix by Mark Mozart. With your purchase, you are getting Halls of Fame, a great reverb plugin from our partner Best Service. Now, after your purchase, you're going to get an email that looks something like this. You're going to scroll down to where it says License Key. What you're going to do with this License Key is highlight it and copy it. The next step is to go to our partner's website, bestservice.com. On the website, you're going to see a couple of icons up here. You're going to click on the little man. That's going to be your account. If you already have a Best Service account, just log in as you would usually log in. If you don't, click on Register Now to set up a new account. Fill in this form with your correct information. And then hit save. And now you are in your best service account. Perfect. On the left, you're going to find a button that says registration. Click that. Now this window is going to pop up and this is where you're going to paste your license key. Click submit. And if everything went through, you're going to get this page that just confirms your registration. And now you've registered your product. It's really that simple. And uh, now I will hand over the mic to Nick, who's going to show you how to use, download, and install the product. Hey everyone, it's Nick, and today I'm going to show you how you can install and activate your best service Halls of Fame 3 Mark Mozart edition. So, first of all, you want to download the installer of the plugin for Mac or for Windows, and the archive, uh, which includes all the impulse responses of the plugin. Optionally, you can download the instruction as well, uh, in case you want to make sure to install it properly. So first of all, I'm opening the plugin installer. Pretty standard installer, continue, agree the license agreement and click on install. So this installation is pretty standard. Um, now you got the plugin installed and next up uh, you need to unrar the archive. Uh, it comes as a rar archive and um, I'm using unrar x for Mac. Expanding the library and as you can see now I've got the folder um, and now I want to move the folder to a location that makes sense for me. Uh, in my case uh, I want to use my home directory and the music folder because there's all my music stuff obviously so this location makes sense and I just need to remember where I move it for uh, the later activation of the plugin. So now I want to open my DAW, in my case Logic Pro X. Just open a new project or doesn't matter. And as you can see, the plugin was installed properly and we open Halls of Fame. So now you go to settings and to add content. And th this is where you need to remember the directory you put the library in. So we go to music and just select Halls of Fame, Mark Mozart edition. And as you can see, it's not activated but registered by the plugin. So now uh, we need to actually use a preset to start the activation process. So I'm opening the preset folder and just select a random one and the e-license manager cam comes up. Now I want to copy the product code 
And we now we need to go to our best service account in, in the browser again and click on new activation. A window pops up and this is where I want to paste the product code. In exchange, I now receive an activation code. So I also copy the activation code and I go back to Logic, back to the Hall of Fame plugin, to the eLicense Manager and copy the activation code. Simply click on Activate, confirm with your password and you're done. So now the library is activated and we can start using every preset and tweaking and start using Halls of Fame and the library. In case you have any further questions, you can simply ask us or go directly to Best Service. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.